Hello my dear creative friend, I'm thrilled to have you back and today I'm going to be reading from my favorite writer Fyodor Dostoevsky and from his book The Idiot. We still haven't come to my favorite work of his but uh, this one is right up there. Actually, there isn't anything that I read by Fyodor Dostoevsky that uh, wasn't just masterful with every single word. So this is a, a big novel and um, it's very interesting and intriguing to read. So I hope you will enjoy it and I hope it will spark something wonderful. There you see the general condescendingly approved. What happened to me was of course out of the ordinary, but there is nothing incredible in it. Truth very often seems impossible. It sounds strange, of course, but the adventure of a 10 year old boy may perhaps be explained just by his age. It wouldn't have happened to a boy of 15, that's certain. For at 15, I should not, on the day of Napoleon's entry into Moscow, have run out of the wooden house in Old Bassman Street, where I was living with my mother, who had not left the town in time and was terror-stricken. At 15, I too should have been afraid, but at 10, I feared nothing and I forced my way through the crowd to the very steps of the palace just when Napoleon was dismounting from his horse. Certainly, that's a very true remark, that a ten years old one might not be afraid, Mishkin ascended, abashed and distressed by feeling that he was just going to blush. Most certainly, and it all happened as simply and naturally as possible. In reality, set a novelist to work on the subject, he would weave in all sorts of incredible and improbable details. Oh, that's true, cried Mishkin. I was struck by the same idea quite lately. I know a genuine case of murder for the sake of stealing a watch it's appearing in the newspapers now. If some author had invented it, critics and those who know the life of the people would have cried out at once that this was improbable. But reading it in the newspapers as a fact, you feel that in such facts you are studying the reality of Russian life. That's an excellent observation of yours, General. Mishkin concluded warmly, greatly relieved at finding a refuge from his blushes. Isn't it, isn't it, cried the general, his eyes sparkling with pleasure. A boy, a child who knows nothing of fear, makes his way through the crowd to see the fine show, the uniforms, the suite, and the great man about whom he has heard such a lot. For at that time, people had talked of nothing else for years. The world was full of that name. I drank it in with my milk, so to speak. Napoleon was two paces away when he chanced to catch my eye. I looked like a little nobleman. They dressed me well. There was no one like me in the crowd, you may believe. No doubt it must have struck him and have shown him that everyone had not left Moscow and that there were still some of the nobility there with their children. There you go. An interesting part of this story. And uh, as I said, this story is full of intrigue and uh, big dramatic scenes so if you enjoy that kind of thing this is your book but uh, i would just suggest that you let your imagination go wild and perhaps 
why not construct a story that never happened or, or the story that it might have been the part of your previous life? Who knows where inspiration can take you? Enjoy creation.